Unit 5, Lesson 4. Adding and subtracting decimals with many non-zero digits. Number 1. For each subtraction problem, circle the correct calculation. A. 7 and 2 tenths or 7 and 20 hundredths minus 3 and 67 hundredths equals 3 and 53 hundredths. B. 16 minus 1 and 4 tenths equals 14 and 6 tenths. Number 2. Explain how you could find the difference of 1 and 1,978 ten thousandths. To find the difference, I'd write it as a subtraction problem. 1 minus 1,978 thousandths. And since I can't take away from 0, I start by borrowing from the 1. And then I continue to borrow until I can finally subtract 8 from 10, 7 from 9, 9 from 9, 1 from 9, and my final answer is 8,022 ten thousandths. Number three, a bag of chocolates is labeled to contain 384 thousandths pound of chocolates. The actual weight of the chocolates is 3,798 ten thousandths of a pound. A, are the chocolates heavier or lighter than the weight stated on the label? Explain how you know. 384 thousandths is the same as 3,840 ten thousandths. They're equal in the ones place with a zero. They're equal in the tenths place with a three, but they're not equal in the hundredths place. The eight is greater than the seven. So 3,840 ten thousandths or 384 thousandths is greater than 3,798 ten thousandths. B. How much heavier or lighter are the chocolates than stated on the label? Show your reasoning. I'm going to subtract the smaller number from the larger number. 3,840 ten thousandths minus 3,798 ten thousandths. The weight stated on the bag is 384 thousandths, which is actually heavier than the actual chocolates inside the bag. The difference is 42 ten thousandths. Number four, complete the calculations so that each shows the correct sum. A, one and 36 thousandths plus two and 964 thousandths equals four. B, 738 thousandths plus 262 thousandths equals 1. C. 5,137 ten thousandths plus 4,863 ten thousandths equals 1. Number 5. A shipping company is loading cube shaped crates into a larger cube shaped container. The smaller cubes have side lengths of two and a half feet, and the larger shipping container has side lengths of ten feet. How many crates will fit in the large shipping container? Explain your reasoning. Two and a half times two and a half times two and a half is the same as five halves times five halves times five halves, which equals 125 eighths feet cubed. So the volume of the smaller cube is 125 eighths feet cubed. Ten times ten times ten is 1,000 feet cubed. So the volume of the larger cube is 1,000 feet cubed. To figure out how many of the smaller shipping containers would fit inside the larger shipping container, we need to do 1,000 divided by 125 eighths. And to do that, we'll need to multiply by the reciprocal of 125 over 8, which would be 8 over 125. 1,000 times 8 equals 8,000, and 1 times 25 equals 125. 8,000 divided by 125 equals 64. We could fit 64 of the smaller shipping containers inside the larger shipping container. Number six, for every nine customers, 
the chef prepares two loaves of bread. Here is a double number line showing varying numbers of customers and the loaves prepared. Right away I noticed that the number of customers was counting by nines and the numbers of loaves of bread was counting by twos. B. The same information is shown on a table. Complete the missing information. Well, we knew that every nine customers, there were two loaves of bread. To figure out how many loaves of bread there were for just one customer, I had to divide the nine by nine to get one, and divide the two by nine to get two ninths. So for one customer, there were two ninths loaves of bread, or two ninths of a loaf of bread. For 18 customers, I just doubled the nine. Nine times two equals 18. Two times two equals four. So for every 18 customers, there's four loaves of bread. For 27, I multiplied the nine by three to get 27. So two times three equals six. To figure out how many loaves of bread 63 customers would have, I knew that two times seven equaled 14. So if I multiplied the number of loaves by seven, I needed to multiply the number of customers by seven. Nine times seven equals 63. So for 63 customers, there would be 14 loaves of bread. C. Use other representation to answer these questions. How many loaves are needed for 63 customers? Well, I already figured that out. Anyway, a nine to two ratio is the same as a 63 to 14 ratio, so the answer would be 14. 14 loaves of bread would be needed for 63 customers. How many customers are there if the chef prepares 20 loaves? A 9 to 2 ratio is equal to a 90 to 20 ratio. There are 90 customers if the chef prepares 20 loaves. How much of a loaf is prepared for each customer? A 9 to 2 ratio is the same as a 1 to 2 ninths ratio. So two ninths of a loaf of bread is prepared for each customer. Congratulations, you have completed Unit 5, Lesson 4, Adding and Subtracting Decimals with Many Non-Zero Digits. Music